Am I hitting him? Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, 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 bird. What? Well, that was kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Bam. Fly away. Fly away. Come on. Ah, oh, he didn't fly. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to Realm of Rulers. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Realm of Rulers and other videos. So, I keep forgetting to say also that this game is now multiplayer. I have not played around with it, so I'm not sure how it works at the moment. Uh, but I did put down another crop plot, so we have four now. I hired a third farmer. Wait, a third one or a fourth one? I don't remember now. And it said that they don't have a crop plot. Let's see. Farmers? Yeah, three. So I put another one down. I don't know if they can do two each or what the deal is. Uh, and I kind of wish there was a way you could tell, like, who was assigned to what, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, these guys are making food. And I've just been kind of doing a little bit of stuff here and there. I put another well down. I, like I said, I got that crop plot going. I put another house down because we needed more people. Um, we needed more maximum people so that we could have another farmer. Because I was watching our food go down and it got down to 15 and I got kind of scared. So, uh, with the water storage, that raised our max water to 200. And then with the extra well, it raised our water being gathered to 20. So, we're about to be maxed out. We could actually use another water storage, but I'm not going to do that right now. Our food is going up, as you can see right there, even though it says zero food gathered. We do have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people, even though it says 14. I don't know why I have two blacksmiths. I may have done that by accident. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, they, they are doing, they're working now. After I restarted the game, this guy came down from flying up here. <laughs> and as you can see in here, they're making ingots. So that's going on. I am collecting all the wood and all the barley out of here because the next thing that I want to get into here is a cooking station. 200 logs and 150 barley. And we have that much. So let's go ahead and make it right now. And I'm just going to keep going down the line here with these things, and I... Oh, I don't know which way this thing goes. Last time I placed it, the guy was backwards. Um, I mean, I'd have to guess that they... When you first select it, that it comes out the right way? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and put it right there. So, in here. We can put ingredients in here, such as... 10 barley so let's stick that in needs to be baked times 10 barley ingredient barley bam no okay how about wheat we have wheat in here which is right here let's try that wheat bam cook uh, and we got what craft bread dough 10 barley oh whoa 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 okay I have 10 barley in my inventory so we can craft bread dough oh okay 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 so let's open this guy up again. Let's go to bread dough. We can craft it. As you can see in my inventory here, I'm getting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we can put the bread dough in here, and then we can cook it. Aha! Now we have bread. Two. Though we can't see how many we have in here, so we're just gonna keep making them. Nine, ten. Okay! And that's all we can make, I guess. And that, I'm pretty sure, gives you health. 
We're gonna have to go out and test that here fairly soon. I wanted to get all this stuff done so that when I started the episode, we could just be headed straight out um, to explore and do that type of stuff. Also, these guys only make these iron ingots. I made these here with the clay, and I also had to take the tungsten out of here and make that as well, which is another thing I want to do. We have tungsten. Before we leave, I want to go over here, and I want to make this tungsten sword, which is going to be 10, or I'm sorry, Four oak planks, so we're going to need 400 logs to make four oak planks, and then two tungsten bars, which we have. So we need 400 logs right now, and these guys are coming in fairly quickly. We have 305 right now. I've just been kind of letting them gather on their own and then just kind of switching stuff over to my inventory. So our miners are doing a great job. We've got over a thousand stone, and this stuff is... These guys are keeping up with it. Uh, I don't know why they don't do this. Maybe... We need to make this uh, mining building. Oh, I thought there was a... I don't know what these are. We'll have to get into those in the future. I thought there was a blacksmith one. Maybe there isn't. Anyway, we're trying to get to... You can't access these again unless you go away and come back. We're trying to get to 400... 335. So I'll bring you back in here in a little bit when we're ready to make that sword. Actually, hold on real quick. What we're going to do is make a cook. One cook. So he should go over here and run this thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there he goes. So now I wonder if it's going to say... Yeah, 10 food being gathered. Okay. Awesome. We got two gatherers, three lumberjacks, two miners, three farmers, one cook, two blacksmiths, and zero guards... Which I think we're going to have to make the barracks, which is right here, in order to get guards. And then we're going to have to make swords for all those, or at least that's how it used to be in a uh, long ago version that I played. So, oh yeah, now they're making bread dough. I wonder if they're going to cook those or if I have to cook those. Five more logs. Come on, logs. Here's my old sword that I never really used. More iron. Come on, we need logs. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. No, not stone. Logs. You see, here's the tungsten. So we'll see if they actually make this when we come back here. Are you guys not getting logs anymore? What's going on? Here we go. Here's our logs. Now let's head over here and we need to make four planks. We have five logs left and then we'll come over here. Tungsten sword. Bam. And we've done it. So let's check this thing out. I've never seen this before. It looks the same. It's just dark. Let's, uh, let's compare them. Let's put this guy right there. Um, that's not a thing you can do. Let's put that guy right there. Okay. Uh, iron sword? Tungsten sword. I don't know. It should be, it should do more damage. If it works the way that I think it should. So, let me just unload some of the stuff that we don't need to bring with us. And then... We'll bring the dough. Um, the bread, I mean. How's our food? 85? 15 food per second. 10 foods being gathered. 10 food is being made by this guy. Other food is being gathered that's not being... Recorded carrots, um, potatoes. So, I guess it's time to head out and do a little exploring. So, there's no real way to tell where to go. <laughs> so, we're just going to head out and see what we can find. 
Also, I did turn my mic down a little bit last episode, which I forgot to, to, to say, because the music is so loud in my ears, and if I turn it down, then I can't hear myself. Uh, so I turned my mic down a tiny bit, because when I went to save the recording, it, the uh, wave file looked like I was just blowing the mic out, just yelling into it, so I apologize if I was. I don't see... Alright, there's my home. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything. There are bandit camps around, which... They're much easier to see at night because they have a fire going. So, I'm kind of just wandering right now. So, I'm up on the side of the mountain now, as you can kind of see. There's my house over there. Uh... I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen a fire, a deer, a rabbit, a wolf, uh, a bandit, a town, a cave. I haven't seen anything at all. Uh, and this kind of seems like the edge of this side of the map. Uh, I did... There was one time I played before where I climbed up the mountain somewhere and there was a little path to go through and I got past the mountains and to some water but there was nothing over there except for some water uh, and I don't remember what like there was nothing there like there's nothing for you to do there it was just the edge of the map what is this is this something or is this just a bush I think it's just a bush also I'm noticing uh, as soon as I left, I thought, man, I should have made a torch. Oh, what's that? Oh, I see fire. Is that a town? Anyway, I thought I should make a torch because I remember playing this before where when it got dark, it was completely dark. And you could see nothing except for this glow around you like that. And it was dark, dark. And you didn't have this home marker either, so... Oh, those are torches. Hold on, let me just look over here. Um, but it is nighttime right now, I believe. I did see the moon, and I can still see where I'm going. Also, I love the fire in this game. It's it's really it's pretty good. Let's follow this and see what we find. We might be finding our first town here. Uh, another thing, though, I did find is if you press tab, it brings this up. Here's your achievements: five thousand wood. I'm pretty sure I gathered five thousand wood. Um, I gathered more than, so if we're looking at half here, 2,500, I definitely gathered more than 2,500 wood. <laughs> um, construct five buildings, uh, one, two, three, I'm not really sure, train 10 citizens, well, I'm over 10 right now, so I don't know why this only shows this many. Gather 5,000 barley, it looks like zero, and I definitely gathered more than zero, so that's not right. <laughs> construct 25 buildings, train 50 citizens, and eh, maybe, okay. Gather 5,000 stone. I definitely gathered more than zero. Uh, gather 5,000 pine. I'm not sure where to find pine. Locations, zero out of eight discovered, and uh, no notes. So, looks like there's eight different places that we could potentially find here. But those achievements don't seem to be accurate. Unless they reset every time you start the game. Because I had to restart the game a few times because, uh, like you saw last time, the blacksmith was bugged out up in the air. Uh, and that fixed that. Oh! <gasps> oh, those are bandits! Alright, here we go. Our first bandit encounter. Now, we want to see if we can try to get one at a time. And I wonder... Alright, I wonder if they change this at all. Whoa. Okay, I hit him twice. <laughs> so that little sound, that little clunk sound, is me hitting him. Okay, I hit him twice. So, it looks like they have more, like they do more now than they used to, but I can still take them out 
pretty fairly easily just by running backwards. So, 10 coins, 5 iron bars, 230, wait, what? I got coins? Here's my coins. I wonder what that's for because I did see that we can build a market stall. Anyway, that's a bandit camp and that's how, uh, that's what you get. <laughs> they have a, they have a chest that you can loot like that. I'm going to continue up this way and see what we can find. Cool. All right, we're coming up. Oh no, that's the torch. I thought that was a huge fire. So we're coming up here to something. I'm guessing a town, right? Or more bandit camps. It's really dark right here. This kind of looks like more bandits. Yep. So they haven't hit me yet. <laughs> um, my health hasn't gone down. Also, when I got hit by that wolf or whatever uh, in the other episode, my health went down a little bit and then eventually it came back so it does seem like your health regenerates with time these guys are no problem let's see what we got in here stones bread logs uh, there's a f grass is on fire let's get these guys oh 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 there it goes <coughs> Yeah, so they're, um, seems like their AI and their physics could still use a little bit of work. Uh, it is different than it was last time I played it. I don't know that it's better. I mean, it's definitely easier. <laughs> I mean, I'm not making fun of it. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you how it is. It's, they could use a little work. Logs and stone. See? Resources. Uh, yeah. So where do we go next from here? We followed this path all the way up here. I really, really wish there was a map. And I really wish I had made that torch because now I can't see anything. Can I go up here? Uh... Whoa, so that's like basically the whole map there, right? Let's see if we can go up this. Uh, 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 without falling. I can't see anything. Alright, we fell down this side. Uh, I kind of think we just go back down. Did that count as a location? Nope, zero locations dis discovered still. Or maybe I wait till the sun comes up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, we're, okay. I thought we were going to slide all the way down. So, as far as I know, there's no fall damage in this game. So, uh... We didn't slide down as fast as I thought. I, I don't know... That there's anything worth looking at up there. So, I'm just going to continue on and see what we can find next. Oh, would you look at that? I wonder if this might be a town I've been to before. It looks kind of familiar, but I was just basically skirting the edge of the map here, just looking for anything. Uh, so let's go down here and check it out. So there's a wall, but I can just walk in here. But <laughs> let's go around and check it out. All right, here's the entrance. Doesn't say anything. Does this count as discovering a location? Zero, huh? All right, here's all their cooking stations. Press F to trade. Oh, interesting. So I can't trade in my stuff. I can only pay with gold coins. I don't need any of that stuff. Do you all have the same things? 
Yeah, it looks like it. Location unlocked! Woohoo! We did a thing! Alright, so we can just look around. Uh, there were, there used to be chests. Oh man. So it's dark over here, but it's light over here. <laughs> Uh, there used to be chests in these uh, villages that you could loot. So, wow. Oh, there's one. Iron bars, logs, and stones. Oh, what is that? A note. Before man walked the earth, there was a race of giants. Giants were not as smart as human beings, but their brute strength made them unstoppable to the rest of the world. They lived in caves we mine in today, walked the land we now have homes on, and stepped on mountains we climb. Hey, come back. <laughs> the giants were believed to live up to the age of 200 years old, and they would defeat their foes with a single strike. Although we have no clue on what happened to the race, that's kind of annoying, <laughs> um, uh, happened to this race of human-like creatures, we know that Alcade is the last of them. Alcade is a peaceful giant seen wandering the lands and wears giant-sized clothes of the common attire paid for by a king long past. Huh, interesting. Here's the town we found. The site of a mountain. Meyer Fall is a small but prosperous mining town that relies on the trade of precious ores and resources. The citizens, <laughs> citizens, I was going to say cities, the citizens of Meyer Fall are welcoming and do not rely on war to control their economy to coot that. Stop it. Rely on war to control. Their economy retains the power and control that they need to advance. Interesting. That's all new stuff. Um, Alright, so I'm going to continue looking around for some chests. And then we're going to go into the mine that is here, or at least used to be here. And I'll bring you back in when we got something to show you. At least I can see a little bit now. Oh, there's a chest. Alright, I think this is the last chest. This is the third one. Man, what an amazing place for a town. Like right here, I know it's really dark and you can't see, but this is the wall of the edge of the mountain here. And, I mean, like they got gatherers back here. They have blacksmiths, cooking stations. This is all laid out really nice. And a perfect place around the city to make a wall that's not all all lumpy from the Oh man, can I not get out of here? Nice and flat place to build a wall is what I'm trying to say. Uh So I believe I got all the chests. So let's head over here. There should be Yeah, look at this guy. Man, spider webs. I can't see. I kind of wish I had a torch. Now, there used to be bandits in this cave when they first added bandits to the game. Yep, there they are. Got them. And these guys, like, they were pretty hard. Like, I think they killed me. Spiderweb? Can I harvest this or anything? No? Okay. Just for looks. So these guys have not hit me. And now I'm not even... Let me just do a test here. Can they hit me? They can't hit me! Interesting. 
Interesting. Now, I don't know if that's a bug in this version of the game or if it's one of those things where it's just not working correctly and I need to restart the game in order to get it to work right, but I'm going to go with it right now. <laughs> Is this another way to go? No, it's just a dead end. All right, let's finish. Uh, let's go through the rest of this cave here. I kind of really wish I had a torch, to be honest with you. I can't see anything. Wait, is that it? Just the way out? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we came in that way, so now we gotta go this way. I was kind of expecting to see, like... Whoa. Can I go this way? No, okay. I was kind of expecting to see giant spiders in here or something. Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, all right. I think I've done it this time. Yeah, there's another... There's another town inside the cave. Of miners, I guess. Oh, that's a little weird. I want to see if there's some more chests in here, which I think there are. I didn't see any. Let's check this out while we're right here. I really wish I could move faster. <laughs> and... Whoa. Can I walk on that? Okay. And we're out! We're out the side of the mountain. Uh, I think there might be another path in there, but to be completely honest with you... I'm not really worried about, uh... Wait, my house is over there? I'm not really worried about it, because look, I had nothing in my inventory before I left except for my bread. Nobody wants my bread. Uh, and I got this, I got 1,400 logs, 741 stone. I mean, we got a lot of freaking stuff. Uh, we're about to test fall damage. Huh! No fall damage. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We're running out of time for today. Actually, we might be a little bit short because it took me... I'm going to have to cut out all my my wandering time. Uh, but I'm going to head back home. And we'll see how much stuff these guys have gathered while I was away. Unless we find something on the way home, I'll bring you back in and we'll check it out. Oh, that looks like a bandit camp to me. We're still headed towards home. Let's go ahead and see what these guys have for us. Hey, guy. Yeah. So he's hitting me. But it isn't hurting me. Bam. <laughs> it's alright. They'll get it. I mean, this game is... is by no means 10 coins uh, finished so it's fine we're just checking it out right now oh here's another fire another bandit camp more free resources am I hitting him come on there we go there we go there we go. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, 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 bird. What? Well, that was kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Bam. Fly away. Fly away. Come on. Ah, oh, he didn't fly. Oh, dear. I'm gonna get you. Ugh. I love when they fly away. I love, like, wacky game physics that... That bug out a little bit. I think that's a lot of fun, to be completely honest with you. It's a good laugh, you know, like weird rag dolls and and stuff flying. I was watching someone actually. I was watching Slipgator stream uh, Farming Simulator 2019 last night, and it reminded me of something because uh, I used to play. I played Farming Simulator 2013, which is a little bit older, so it's definitely got some some bugs to it. Uh, it's a little bit clunky here and there. 
So he, and he was picking up bales, bales of hay. And I remember when I was playing 2013, if you had something on the ground like one bale, and then you dumped your bale bale picker upper, <laughs> it would dump it. It would put it back and set it on the ground, and then why am I stuck? And then after it released them, they would just all bounce up into the air like they were rubber, like boing, <laughs> and they would go flying for miles. And it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It's so funny. Uh, so let's check out what these guys gathered while we were gone. Wow, 1,098 um, barley, 462 iron ingots. It looks like they did make the tungsten. No, I, I put those in there. So some of these I put in there before I left. Logs, 1,200. Stone, 2,000. <laughs> All right, did anybody die? Do we still have food and water? 100 food, oh yeah. So it looks like we need a, uh, a food storage. And we should have everything in our inventory. <laughs> so food silo storage, I guess. I don't know where to put this stuff, man. Um, let's just start putting it back here. Oh no! Okay, so this is a problem I had when I was placing this house. <laughs> I was standing right here, and I was trying to place the house, but every time I pressed F, it would access this bench. So that is a little troubling to be able to place stuff. There we go. Construct five buildings. Achievement unlocked. So now we should be able to get up to 200 food. Honestly, I want to make another water storage and another food storage because if we don't have enough storage, we're basically wasting the excess that we're making. So I'm going to go ahead and... Bleh. <laughs> Can you play some like that? Hold on. I got to know. Yeah! Oh, dude. Don't tell the devs. Super, super space saver right there. Same thing with these water barrels. Oh, let's try it. Do we have enough? Uh, resources. Water storage. Oh, yeah, let's try it. Uh, also, the wells. I could put them like... Oh, dude! I'm, I mean... Okay. Then we might be doing that here next time. Alright, so... Right there. Oh yeah, super space savers. Uh oh, oh I was stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, what do we do next other than explore more next time? I guess we work on. I mean, there's things like a two-floor house and a tavern, but that only increases the maximum number of people you can have. There's the market stall, which I'm guessing that we will accumulate coins from that we can build gates and walls barracks for um, guards we have these lumberjack farming and mining buildings which I don't know what they are we also we have another market stall we have a windmill which I'm guessing is gonna make flour I don't know alchemy table I really want to get into these guys and see what they do. 50 pine planks? We need pine planks. So, that is something new that's been added to the game. I don't know. And every tree I've seen looks the exact same to me, I guess. So look at these guys. These guys give you oak planks, right? Um, I thought this one looked different, but now that I'm getting close to it and it's loading in, it looks the same. Um, I do not know where to get pine planks. Is it in a different part of the map? Oak logs. I mean, I mean, I mean pine logs. Is this a pine tree? No. These are the same, right? Oak logs. Hmm. Well, that's something that we'll either have to figure out or I'll have to look up eventually. Or if any of you know... Please let me know in the comments or have any tips and tricks other than <laughs> I could place this well up on top of this well, but I didn't I guess I didn't figure it would place, so I just put it over there. Anyway. 
So, I believe that's going to be it for this episode, and uh, I guess next time we'll go explore more, or maybe we'll get into these advanced buildings and see what they do. I guess the only one we can do is uh, the Lumberjack building, because it takes oak planks. These two take pine planks, so we can't make those until we figure out how to make pine. Yeah. Or until we figure out where to get pine, I guess I should say. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this video, oh yeah, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. <gasps> Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments and... Oh jeez! <laughs> you can also subscribe to the channel for more Realm of Rulers and other videos. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. There we go. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.